Hi everyone, we're in Oklahoma City at the 2014 D1 Women's Volleyball Championships. I'm Jack Hammond with Volleyball Magazine and we are with... Karch Kirai. How's everybody doing? Hi Karch, good to see you again. Karch, there's conversation that comes up a lot about in all sports having an opportunity for coaches to ask for occasional referees decisions to be overruled and more sports are doing it. You have experience now as the head coach of the USA Women's National Team with a system including this last summer where they did use instant replay for coaches to challenge. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like for you? Uh, I think, it, on balance, it's a very good thing. The, it's only been about a year in international women's volleyball that that system, and it's different almost every day, so it's not a consistently implemented system. But the bottom line is we're looking for better calls. It's not easy to call lines when people hit the ball that hard and it goes that fast. In fact, the toughest calls, the ones we stress uh, for ourselves on, um, challenging the most, are when the ball goes cross court. When it's right down the line, you can see the ball land, but things happen really quickly cross court. So those are the ones that we stress first and foremost. There are also the possibility in some competitions of challenging touch calls, of challenging net touches, things like that. But the more it can be implemented consistently so we know what's going to be allowed from week to week that we actually can challenge, I think the better. So by the time we get to the Rio Olympics, assuming, and I never do assume it, we've got a big road to, uh, toward Olympic qualification, a difficult, role, a difficult road to qualify for the Rio Olympics. But if we qualify and we get there, I think it'll be a pretty smooth system and it'll make for better volleyball because it'll allow the players to um, ultimately decide the outcome more than the referees. Not that the referees do a lot, but it minimizes even those few mistakes they make. Yeah. And one final follow-up to that, is the cost um, affordable as far as you know in terms of what would be required for other levels to, to try to implement that, or is it, is it a big cost? I wish I could answer that question. I do know that for the lines, it's a series of fixed what do they call them, like pencil cameras um, on all the different sidelines and the three meter line for backcourt violations. You have to have them from both sides in case a player is blocking the view. And then it gets to be a challenge because you have to have a higher frame rate and you have to have it at HD rather, high def rather than standard def to get the best view on that. So I, I can't tell you how much it costs, but when I've seen it implemented well, it's a really good system. They get almost all the line calls right. You, you almost cannot not get it right. Karch, thank you so much. You have so many hats that you wear at these events and we appreciate the time to be able to talk with you. Karch Karai, who is the head coach of the USA Women's National Team, a commentator for ESPN. I'm Jack Hammond with Volleyball Magazine.